Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to check if you have any viruses inside of your game. So let's get right into the video. Woo! Okay, so to check for viruses inside of your game, it's actually really simple. I had to do it before um, because I made a game. Right now, I'm inside one of my games where a game jam I'm about to make. And I don't think there is any viruses because like, I barely used any free models, only free models like the chair. Um, but really, all you have to do is you gotta go, if you're home, go to view and then object, no, actually find all slash replace all. Click on that and it'll pop up somewhere. I like putting it here. So if it's like here, and it's really annoying, just pop it in there. Okay. And um different viruses, they have different stuff. If you like insert a uh, random free model, like if I search up tree and then there's tree. Okay. Um Roblox now it has this new system thing. If I do like treehouse, okay, I need something that has virus. Mm, none trees don't have virus. Okay, you see this now what Roblox is like um, Includes that many tr scripts. So you're like, okay, unless you press that then it wouldn't show it again This one probably doesn't have a virus but if you see something and It has okay. Let me look in here. Yeah, that's not virus That's not virus, but I don't even need the tree. So I'm gonna delete that um, Pretty much different viruses. It's usually inside scripts and some of them, if you want, like, teleport could be one. And then teleport, and then it'll click you. It'll bring you here. And if it looks, like, really suspicious, like this. This is just to, like, my other game. Uh, boom. I just realized I didn't even do this correctly. Okay. Yeah, okay. But, um, scripts like this, right? It'll be, like, teleports to this place. That means usually that's like uh, if you didn't want your if you didn't make a teleport script then that's bad that means there's a virus like there's I have lots of them but that's okay because it's all part of one script my script um, there's others like if there's but that one just teleports require if there's something with require that means that it'll automatically like do the script so it has to be um, that might be virus you got to be careful um also if there's like weird type of like alien text like i i i i i i i i i i just like really weird and like this oh five or something like that where it's just like i don't know weird stuff that's probably a virus pretty much um you should also probably just go to if you just go to explorer and you just go to script and there's scripts that are like in really weird positions like if there's like um if there's like a part and then inside of that there's something and then inside of that there's something and inside of that there's something and inside of that there's something that's a script that has like a name that's like not script or something and it's like weld or something that's usually a virus i don't know why but lots of viruses they they usually take the name weld i don't know how to spell weld it, it's like that one of those okay and if that you see a script of that name because there shouldn't be because there's literally a weld thing you don't need that there's weld yeah right there weld weld part if it's a script that has weld delete that virus alert um there's also a different type of stuff like uh, like this weird one it's like um this is a really big one actually lots of ones do this i had a, i had a game with some viruses if it's like get fenv then it's probably virus but also, don't go around like deleting every single script that you see, because like it, it could be good. You see, like this, this this script just makes it so it's fire. If you delete that, it just won't work. Um, but also be careful because scripts like imagine yeah, it's like this. Okay, normal tree, open up fire, open up light, and then if there's like weld or something, and then you open that up, and then there's a script, probably a virus. If it if it's something like really weird. Yeah, um, like something like this is okay, it's normal, like, I can tell this won't do anything, it just moves up and down, you know, um, out of breath right now, okay, but if there's a script and it has like nothing or it has like one thing, 
and then you're like, oh, okay, it's a virus, there's nothing there, it could still be a virus, okay? If you see something and it has this bar, um, yeah, okay. If you see something like this, and it has this bar right here, and then you're like, oh, okay, yeah, no virus here, and then um, there's this, you're like, hmm, what is this? You always gotta check for this inside scripts. If you keep going, there might be nothing, you're like, oh, must be just a glitch or something. Boom, text, virus. See, virus, literally virus. Get rid of the virus. Boom, delete that. Delete the whole script. If it has vi one virus, just delete the entire script, okay? But that's pretty much how you get rid of viruses. And... Oh, okay, whatever. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much how you, mm, you get rid of viruses. And yep, that's gonna be the end of my video, guys. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.